Anna and Thierry aren't typical tourists on the streets of Prague. Like more and more infertile foreign couples, they've come to the Czech Republic to conceive a test tube baby. As they haven't told their families, they didn't wish to show their faces on camera. I happen to suffer from an ovarian deficiency. I'm 43 years old now and my gynecologist back in France advised me to try to get an egg donation, preferably abroad, because in France waiting times are very long, between two and three years. From Prague, a hundred couples from Western Europe, the US, Russia and Israel go every month to the eastern region of Moravia, to Brno, or here to Zlin, formerly known as Gottwaldov, to be treated at this private clinic. It's just celebrated its thousandth birth in less than seven years. The prices here are very low. The cost of labor here is still much cheaper than in Western Europe. Even if treatments and medication cost the same, the low wages of doctors and scientists allow us to offer prices about 50% cheaper than elsewhere. But low prices aren't the only thing which attracts infertile foreign couples. Very liberal Czech legislation allows egg donation, sperm donation, in vitro fertilization, microinjection, embryo cultivation and pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. To find egg donors, the clinic uses adverts in town, notably in the local university. In women who reach a certain age, eggs sometimes don't function as they should. So the husband gives his sperm, with which we fertilize an egg donated by a young girl from the area, mainly from Zlin, and it's extremely successful. As in the rest of Europe, Czech law forbids the sale of eggs, but donors receive compensation of around 600 euros, equal to the average monthly salary in this region. And in the Zlin Clinic's database, there are today about 100 registered donors.